Hi everyone, welcome to AI Plan. In this video, we are going to talk about our latest release, which is OpenAGI and how to use it. So let's start with what is OpenAGI. It's basically a tool which lets you create human-like agents, which can autonomously perform tasks on a given instruction. It uses the capabilities of large language models like GPT and helps you create those agents. There are several use cases like education, healthcare, and IT where you can use OpenAGI. In the future, you will have a better memory and fine-tuning capabilities attached with OpenAGI. So, by the way, this is a blog written by Chanuk Kya. It's about introducing OpenAGI and open source framework autonomous, uh, for making autonomous agents and it's accessible for everyone and it's completely open source. So you can give it a read, I will put the link in the description down below. So let's start with how to use OpenAGI. You can find this public repository on GitHub which is aiplanet.com slash OpenAGI. Uh, I'll put the link in the description box. Make sure you put the star in the repository to support us. Uh, you can also go through the readme section where you can uh, find the installation steps or you can just continue watching this video. I'm going to uh, clone this repository. Uh, three years I'll go to my terminal. So, I am in my root directory. So, let me go to desktop. Let me make the separate directory for AI planet. And then I'll go into that. After that, I'll just get one into that folder. Since I'm using multiple accounts, I'm using this command. If you do not have multiple accounts, then you can just skip this step. Uh, my identity is AI plan for so looks that. And I can explore it. Yeah, it's done. So let's go to the next step. So it's telling you to set up a separate virtual environment. So for Mac user, you can uh, use this code. Or for your Windows users, you can use this code. And if you are using a Conda like me, then you can also Conda create an environment with a separate name. Uh, I, I, I have already created a separate environment on Conda. So I'll just activate that. On the activate open AGI. So you can also pip install open AGI and sorry. There are the prominent features and use cases. So let's go to VS port. So, this is the entire repository. Let me go to the uh, documentation. You can find all the same uh, steps here as well. Uh, and here are the export uh, like required keys for your setup. I've already created my own configuration files where I've put the keys. I will not expose those keys here. So, you can uh, uh, have your own config file which will look like, uh, still like this. Like you have a base URL. Deployment name. If you are using Azure or if you are using Open API, Open AI, then you will you have to put the Open AI API key here. So yeah, I'll just uh, copy paste my uh, own uh, config file and I'll show you after that. So I've put the uh, configuration file which is under the name agentconfig.yn. Since you have your own config file, you will have to let the environment know about the config file or the keys and everything. So we are uh, since I'm using Mac. So I'll be using this command which will export open AI config file and I will paste it in my terminal and I'll change the path name. Sorry. Uh, here I'm using this agent config at y end. So I'll copy the path and paste it here and run this command. Apart from that, let's go make a new terminal there. Yeah. So, you can go to the use cases where you will find a lot of use in the prof agent bot. Here in this video, I'm going, to, I'm going to show you this prof agent bot type. So, let me explain you everything one by one. So, this is an agent. Agent is like a human like agent which has a name, a role, a goal, a backstory, or a personality. And it has a capability. Here, for now, we are using two capabilities like LLM, which is LLM task engine and the search engine. And uh, for the task, we uh, like we are providing the 
uh, required prompt like search the internet for the goal uh, for the goals for the trends uh, after the first half of 2023 so there's a basic prompt and the agent name is just an identifier the role is also an identifier you can believe it like that and the goal is a prompt which you have to write separately for every agent if you want to and it has also a backstory or a personality it will help uh, while generating those responses if you put it on that way for developers you can also pick and spot if you face any problem while you're running it you can also pick and scroll and put a dot after that and it's, uh, it will be uh, installing those dependent users I think I think that so let's clear the screen and let's change this code a little let's say search for the latest trends and uh, here it is written corona and cancer treatment includes medicines etc so right now we are going to delete everything that is trends in generative PR in the field of art that's it so and after that, uh, we have a summarizing expert is the LLM task input. It also has a goal summarize input into presentable points. It has a backstory like expert and summarizing a given text. So it's the personality of the writer. After that, summarize points to present to a uh, developer selection. Developers. And general public separately. Okay. And uh, here's a one another emailer which is an agent. And it's a role, it's an email creator, it's just an identifier. Uh, you can also put a goal like it composes email based on the content, backstory, wouldn't be composing, precise email. Okay. Uh, the capability is uh, the LLM task executor, not the search one. The task is to compose this uh, email based on summaries to developers. And general public separately into a file with subject summary and details. Okay. So we have our own file ready. And here is in the profagent.py and now we are gonna run it. So you can also check the documentation that how to quick start and how to use those agents. We can also uh, search for use cases. Here are uh, separate use cases given like examples. And you can also learn more about those tools, LLMs, agent attributes. You can also have this uh, section, entire section uh, for these agent attributes. Uh, one more thing like the output consumer agent of every agent is the next agent. Let's say the first agent, uh, after the first agent, we have the writer. So the output consumer agent of the researcher will be the writer. And the output consumer agent of the writer will be the emailer. But the output consumer agent of the emailer will be angel, which is a special keyword you can say, uh, reserved for the end consumer. Like it, uh, it will produce the output. It uh, won't forward the output to some other agent. So yeah, that's it. You can get to know more about that in this documentation. I will put the link uh, in the description box as well. Since we have changed our profit in but pile, we are going to run it after everything we have done. We are going to write Python. Raw Python. Dot pipe. So it will take some time. First of all, the researcher will research about all the uh, generative AI trends. And after that, uh, so you can see that the role being performed by the research expert. After that, the summarizing expert will come into play, and after that, uh, in the uh, end, the emailer will, uh, will write an email form. One more thing: if you run into an issue, then you can always check the log inside the use cases folder. Let's say I open this file, then you can check uh, all the logs which have been stored here by the logging manager in the code, and you can debug your code by looking at there. So finally, the email is created, which is uh, the dev dear developers uh, for developers and dear recipient, which is for general public. So it's performing quite well, I would say. So this is a separate email for the developers and the uh, general public, since I've said it that way. And yeah, the email has been created. So uh, this is how you can uh, leverage the capabilities of an AI agent and then you can create your own applications based on those agents in the fields of healthcare, IT and anything else you want to. So yeah, that's about the video and you can like this video and subscribe to the channel as well. It will support us and thanks and see you in the next one.